I hope being upstairs on this model area will give you a better view. Yeah, there's the Junkers. It's the Antonov helicopter I was talking about. But yeah, you get a much better view from up here. Really. So, yeah. Especially this guy. Look at that. Three piston engines working. Yeah, so this is... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I get to go inside this cockpit. Yeah, this is the airplane here. But you get a great view of Concorde and the TU 144. So, and the other planes that they just have floating right here. So that's pretty awesome. It's an Air France Concorde. Maybe I'll get to see a better view of the tail number and see how old it is. But we're going to go inside the cockpit. And that's also a Lufthansa tail. But yeah. How does it look in here? Yeah, this is yeah, pretty much it, really. Got the door. There are some seats here. Yeah, they don't show the real thing for the cockpit. But if you insert in a euro, then then you get some cool stuff. So yeah, this is awesome if you pull up after paying money, then it does this thing and you can go left or right, or no, not left or right, but I think just up and down. So that's pretty cool. Okay, no, these are just models, but there's a lot. I think, I'm not sure if that's the one we're just in, but yeah, it's a Lufthansa 747 or the, that. Or just a weird Concorde. There's DC-10, Blackbird. Can't yeah, just a whole lot of them. Yeah. Is that a Spitfire? Yeah, that's a Supermarine Spitfire. Let's see if there's any others I recognize. Oh, is this the Spruce Goose? I'm not sure. Maybe that's a Zeppelin. <coughs> is that the TU-114? Yeah, no, that's the TU-144. Too different, but they're similar. Both pretty cool though. B29. This is like a, the other one. This is C5 Galaxy. Uh, yeah, these are, is that the um, yeah, the Avril Lancaster? Not sure which one that one is. Yeah. Airbus. But it's old. There's also cars and trucks, but who cares about those right on this YouTube channel? What were you thinking? So yeah, that's pretty cool. And once again, the great view. Whoosh. So many airplanes and Concorde. Another different Concorde. In fact, this little wheel would pop out because the landing gear was a bit far in front. So if there was a tail strike, it wouldn't be because there's a wheel there. But yeah, we're gonna go inside. I think we're also gonna go inside the TU 144. Again, no electric cockpit. Yeah, there's a bathroom back there. Man, this is old. Look at those rudder pedals. The steering, the yoke is out of wood. Oh, guys, it's slanted again. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you probably can't, but it is. Um, what a wonderful bathroom, really. This kind of hot dog. No, I don't think this is the bathroom, but it's some sort of crew, maybe, I don't know, maintenance. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So this line is up. That's why it was just really hard to go up. So yeah, the Junkers JU-52. So, it's pretty cool. And we might go into this Air France one. And then, for the moment, you all been waiting for Concord, but later. Let's go into this one. A Bulgarian air transport. Very cool, Kanye. Again, slanted. Very slanted. Even to the right. So just kind of like, gotta hold on. Yes, it's a little. 
Uh, yeah, oh god. Yeah, there is a bathroom. Eh? Sink. This is just really hard to do if you look at Hedges. Square windows. Dudded. We learned that from the Haviland comment. But this really probably didn't fly so high. Yeah, again, not an electronic cockpit, but it's strong. This is still cool. Okay, now to go down. Which, yeah, I'm so glad they have the railings this time. So, there are the other airplanes. Okay, I'll see you on the next plane. Alright, coming up. The moment you've all been waiting for, Concord. Look at those Rolls Royce engines. So fuel inefficient. Sorry, I mispronounced. They're so definitely very fuel efficient. That's that's how you get to supersonic. You go fuel efficiency. So this is this just how aviation works, right? A seven eight seven Dreamliner goes like supersonic. All right. Let's go upstairs and I'll see you inside. Here's the bottom of Concord because we're actually going to go see the 144 first. But, what? This is the pole that's holding up the landing gear, so I guess that counts as tapping it for good luck, right? Yeah. So, technically, if you watch Mustard's video, then this plane was. Uh, introduced earlier than the Concorde, but that's largely just because the Soviet Union stole a lot of Concorde, just really. But since it was communist, it didn't work, and since it was capitalist, it didn't work. So, yeah, pretty much. It's pretty simple. Look at those engines. Do, 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 do. <laughs> And now we're inside this Gulf Soviet crap. Cause that's really what it is. Yeah, so we have history. And this is really hard to walk up. Again, super tiny windows, just like in Concord. For reference, here's my tiny child hand. Yeah, like, seriously. And then here, gross aeroflot seats. Oh, they're really not that bad compared to ones of the day. Huh. Sorry, modern ones. Okay. Thank God for handrails. Wow. Oh. God, this is like a real, real thing. I just, I don't think that these passengers have to do this. Oh, is this is the bathroom. No, that's the bathroom. Hi, Captain, or something. Hello. 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 We're going to walk up to the cockpit soon. I'll see you pretty much only if you one person at a time. But yeah, there's these things. Is that electronic? No, it's technically not electronic. But we can't go inside again. You can see the throttles and everything. So many buttons, except they're in Russian, so I don't understand what they do or mean in like overall general. Okay, yeah, this is the galley, and I'm like being pushed back against it right now. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'll see you in Concord. Okay, sorry that I lied when I said I would see you in Concord, but after this, I swear. So I'm just gonna be reviewing this. Toilet isn't very good. You know, we'll get plain review. We got good mood lighting here and fairly large overhead space. Yeah, great airplane, except for the tiny windows and that it failed and that that does not look like what I, what I want to exit from. Yeah. And I hate how it's slanted, that kind of sucks. Oh, look how they got it up here, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, I think this time, for real, hopefully, I'll see you in Concord. 
Okay, since it's like really full, it's the most popular thing here, we have to wait. Not like for safety, but since there's just a very little space inside the plane. So we need like three or four people to come out. Five actually, until the people currently in line, which is me and a few other people, can go inside. Look at this. It's a concord. We put these things here for birds and so nobody throws something into them probably and that's like the thrust reversers yeah rock off on me so fbvfb remember that so i can look it up and tell you how old it is and when it was built and i'm smoking man this is the whole up slant thing okay Okay, so, yeah. And this, the thing, this was supposed to be the modern great plane of the day. God, pretty sad with this. Very small windows. It's almost like the A380. Uh, the windows are so small, yet it lets in a decent amount of light. Okay, where's the headphone jack? And champagne. So that's what it's all about, right? All right, more seat review. We got some wide, comfortable seats. Pretty good. You know, I think that's a headphone jack and the recline thing. So let's test the recline factor. Oh, it's a good recline. I'm gonna show you this video on the other yeah, and then we have different items. This is the landing gear. So that's pretty dope. Alright, well, I think this will be the end of the video. So, we'll see you later. This is what I'm going to use Concord as clipping. So cool. So many buttons in the cockpit. Yeah, once again, it's not electric, but there's just so many things because of how complicated it was, and then there's a different nose sort of thing. It sucks that we can't go in, but it would make sense. No, so, stuff, this is a toilet. I can't quite see that. <laughs> Good seat view. Alright, so that was pretty cool. It's a very long airplane. So, uh, okay. Again, I got great overhead space. Totally great mood light, just like the anti They have a light, fans, flight attendant button. This is baggage stuff. Coat hangers, toilet, toilet. I love toilets. Use it every day. Yeah, it's an emergency accident. Got those pearls. More pearls, of course. Because Concord was only for the bridge. Get here and down. And German chargers. Who oh, no. knew? Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Great Concord experience. Clickbait flying on Concord in 2019. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. So, this last flight was in 2003. Apparently, it was the last one um, after the pair for the Air France Concord crash. Yeah, you can see the reverse thrusters. But yeah, so landing here. And a good view. All right, well. I guess I'll see you next time unless I visit another plane, which I don't think I will, and if I did, I won't record it, so I can have a good ending. Well, see you next time.